Simon here from Revolution Arts. And today we're going to be talking to Samir, who is a local music promoter. We're going to be finding out a little bit more about him and the Cheltenham scene and Sound Crown promotions. So just get into the basics about you. How did you get into promoting? So I've always been very interested in music, uh, always wanted to be involved in music in some capacity. So it started really, I suppose, at uni. Um, I was involved with the Alternative Music Society. Uh, they got me to book some bands for some events. I enjoyed it, discovered I was quite good at it, and decided, actually, you know, this is something that you know, I want to continue. Other people got me to book bands for their events, so I decided I want to run my own events. What can you tell us about Sound Crown Promotions? So uh, Sound Crown is um, uh, the business that I started when I decided that I wanted to run um, events by myself as opposed to as part of teams. Um, at the moment what I'm doing is I'm putting on gigs in Cheltenham, promoting local music, want to expand it outside of Cheltenham as well. Um, that um, is my key aim and hopefully take Sound Crown to a level where I'm putting on you know, large scale gigs and uh, you know, getting music out to the masses. Um, that was leading into my next question, which was obviously it's going to be all music genres then. So you're not like. Yeah, no, I'm not. Um, you know, you know, confined to sort of one genre. My sort of personal, you know, preference where I kind of got into music was always kind of like rock and metal. Yeah. But um, no, I'm always happy to book uh, a variety of genres. The last one I did was a reggae gig. Awesome. Um, the one before that was um, quite sort of uh, mellow, uh, chilled out music for, it was, uh, for an outdoor event in an afternoon. So, um, you know, death metal probably wouldn't have been, uh, <laughs> wouldn't have gone down too well, you know. I suppose <laughs> but, it's better to have that, uh, isn't it? So you just like, you know, you could have, you can put on a reggae gig, you could put on a metal mm -hmm. gig. It just doesn't make a difference, but that's probably what's so good about the Cheltenham scene. So many different types of There music. is. There's a lot of uh, good bands of uh, a lot of different uh, styles from around here. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's a great scene. Uh, underrated, probably. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 100%. And everyone we've had on the show has always been like so many good bands that mm. people need to tap into. And like at one point, they're going to gold mine it and they're yeah. just going to find so many amazing bands. Yeah. Are there any artists or bands that really stand out for you at the moment? Uh, so in the Cheltenham scene, I would definitely say um, that um, there's some bands who are always a pleasure to work with and are fantastic musicians as well. Um, more Human Than Human, um, Rolling Sixes, uh, obviously on the Re-Evolution art side of things are, are very good. Uh, Second Self as well, um, are, you know, a band who I'm not booked yet, but um, we'll see. It's, up, it's upcoming, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> then, I mean, uh, uh, the last gig I put on this um, at Smokey Joe's, um, Last Tree Squad, who aren't actually from Cheltenham, they're from Hereford, they, um, they really, really impressed me. Um, I'd never seen them live before, but they were very energetic. They really got the crowd going. I put on a gig um, at Sanford Park Ale House the other day, and uh, you had um, Luke Philbrick and Joe Green uh, performing, and they are always uh, so, uh, so professional and always bringing a good crowd. So they're artists who, you know, I can see going and they have already uh, gone beyond the local scene but I can see going even further. Progressing even yeah, more. Yeah, absolutely. Are there any standout gigs that you've put on or anything that you've booked where you thought that this is the sort of thing that I want to do again in the future? Or have, have you been happy overall with all of them? I've been happy with all of them. I would say um, the most recent one I put on, this reggae gig, so it was uh, at Smokey Joe's which is uh, quite a small but very kind of unique and uh, very um, uh, quirky venue. It looks awesome. It's a really nice place. Um, and it was packed out. Uh, the venue sold out a beer, which is obviously <laughs> a good sign for a promoter that you know, everyone was enjoying themselves. We had uh, Rafelia, um, who won Britain's Got Reggae. She was headlining along with King Solomon Sound System. Nice. We're obviously huge in Cheltenham. And then, uh, you know, Last Free Squad, who I mentioned were playing. Um, Ready Five, who are quite a lively ska funk band from Cheltenham, they were playing in. It was great sets, everyone was really enjoying it. And I think 
if I had to pick a standout out of the gigs I've done so far, that would probably be the one. The, the feeling you get when you put on a really, really good gig, it's that positive and enough to make you continue to want to put them on and seeing how much other people enjoy it. Absolutely. Um, the key thing for me is that it's a good event, good turnout, people enjoy it. And, you know, if I use an analogy, I've got to say like, like football, like when you book a good band, it's like you scored a goal. When yeah. the um, band have played a good set, scored a goal, you know, uh, the crowd, you know, someone in the crowd says this is a really good gig, like a goal, you know what I mean? So it's like payment itself, people being Absolutely, positive. absolutely. So what have you got planned for the future? What have you got planned coming up? So I want to continue doing what I've done so far, and that's putting on gigs in Cheltenham, promoting local bands, um, hopefully, um, you know, maybe bring in some uh, uh, good established acts or good up and coming acts from outside of Cheltenham to Cheltenham. Uh, as I said earlier, I want to also expand Sound Crown, so I'm putting on gigs outside of Cheltenham. Um, and that is uh, the key to build it up and, you know, make, um, you know, each gig better than the last. Just keep pushing forward. Keep pushing keep forward. Good bands. Absolutely, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Give me a bump. I'm Simon from Revolution Arts. This has been Samir. I've been Simon. See you later.